your film. It's just, it like hits such a core, raw, um, like inner part of me that I think just, I keep shutting down. I'm about to go downstairs and uh, screen the extended trailer for American Birthright for a whole bunch of post Israel birthright trip participants, which is really exciting because they're all young in college, making big life decisions, and a lot of questions this weekend came up about interfaith marriage, and just in general, like big life decisions, purpose, success, what is being Jewish, what is being human. So I started out asking one question and realized that the whole time that question was just preparing me for the biggest twist I would ever experience in my actual life. Uh, Becky is really adept at being able to slip into vulnerable really quickly and bring other people into that vulnerable space. Millennial, so there's a lot of like, I don't want to be labeled and I don't want to, I didn't want to look at myself. But I realized that I was kind of bumping into stuff and not getting what I wanted because I wasn't limiting myself. And the clearer and cleaner I became with like, this is what I didn't want to do in life, this is like how I see my life. It doesn't mean I'm not open, but the more I knew, the more I manifested. I can't wait to see the full feature film. It is meaningful and I think it is relevant to Jews all over the world and probably not just Jews, I'm speaking as a Jew. Uh, relevant to people everywhere thinking about questions in their lives. And Becky really framed the film for our weekend, um, thinking about what is your question in life. And I've been thinking about this question all weekend. I just created my brand of Jew. Like, we all are our brands of, of Jew. And like, we're an expression. We're all letter in the Torah. Like, if that is, I don't really like going to movies very often, but that just like the tone, it was light, but like also deep. I mean, you're covering deep topics, but yeah. it's yes. like you're so relatable, like genuinely. So I think that I'm excited to see it. Yeah. yeah. Yay, good. We have a proof of audience right here. <laughs> I'm in Connecticut. Um, really excited to be here for Bring Israel Home Weekend number two. It's strange because there's like white things falling out of the sky and I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's it's pretty here. This is the famous Rabbi Pardo. Have you met Rabbi Pardo? I have met Rabbi Pardo, but I've also met Rabbi Berg, who tells me you are the best person ever and I should like have a lot to do with you. So I'm so ah. glad that you're here and we get the meat fun. Oh, I'm so glad I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, and since last night, for the night, for this morning, I'm still thinking of what it meant to me, what does it mean, what is in this movie, and then I saw the movie again, I said to myself, it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. It, it's so authentic and so real and really pulls out something that everybody can relate to. It doesn't have to be Becky's question, it doesn't have to be Becky's story, it doesn't have to be Becky's own journey, but the idea of having a journey and the idea of walking along that path and the idea of the struggle and the the, 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 the shortfalls and the and the rise ups and the, everyone can relate to that. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Is anybody here walking with a question right now that's burning inside of them? Okay, so we're all walking with a question. I want to normalize that more and more. Okay. The only reason that I'm bashing myself in the face all the time is because I feel like I need to be at the end of where I think I should be instead of being in the journey. And that's what I got from this. Watching it is not just about relating, it's about realizing that you're doing that, that you're in that question, that you're in that story, that you're in that you're on that journey. And maybe you haven't appreciated that. And maybe if you thought about your own life in this way, that would be so helpful. I think that that's what American Perfect is for me. It's blew my mind that way. Wow, like you really left me wanting more. Um, it's really incredible, so thank you. You don't have to be Jewish to find all this stuff really relevant. I can speak from experience as a non-Jewish girl, as a non-religious person. Um, 
asking questions on so many levels is so important and so fascinating. Um, and I, I took away a lot from this whole process that I never would have even dived into if it had not been for this whole quest for Becky. So um, I feel like all of us are on this journey with Becky and we all have different questions based on her questions. And the best life is lived when we're identifying the right question, not finding the right answers to those questions, but just working on that question. I've always believed that. And hearing it from Becky and knowing that she's my soul sister just made an enormous amount of sense. and the work you're doing right now is so amazing and inspiring to us Jewish young people. You're making us think about who we are as a Jewish person, our identity spiritually, and what journey are we all deciding to go on. I have a question I just wanted to say that this is all so real. And congratulations, like, making something so real happen.